Junior, 1 0 win here at Fetch and Grove at home tonight to Sutton Common Rovers. A difficult game in many parts, a strange sort of game of football. Mm -hmm. um, can I get your take on it? Yeah, it's a tough, tough game. Uh, I don't think it was at our best, but again, credit to uh, Sutton Common Rovers. They've had a few good results, you know, they're on some decent form, so, you know, they've played a lot of top teams and got points out of them, so, yeah, we won at our best, but, you know, we won 1 0. We'll take that and move on. So, a slightly different look for Leverhead in the dugout this evening, um, with with Gaffer Hayden uh, not being available to come in today. Um, is everything okay with Hayden? Is yeah, it? yeah, all good, all good. Just a uh, few personal issues, so we just had to sort that out. And you know, family comes first, as we always know. But uh, listen, the team are prepared. You know, we, we, we give it a go. So, it's all right. but he's alright. He's fine. Perfect. How much of an impact does it have psychologically and in preparation when sort of the familiar face and the familiar voice isn't sort of around the place? Yeah, I think it's always like difficult for the manager not to be there. To be fair, and Hayden's very. You know, he's very like charismatic character, so I like, you know the boys missed him tonight, we missed him tonight. But like I said, you know, family first, mate, you've got to kind of make sure that's sorted. And you know, now we can give him a 1 0 victory, so I hope that makes him a bit happier. Absolutely, and put a smile back on his face, Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. So you mentioned there in the first one that we, we weren't at our best today, mm -hmm. um, which I think is, is, is a fair statement based on the game. How much of that do you think is due to we had a disruptive week last week, yeah. um, not being able to sort of get in the train and, and with the fixture off on Saturday, how much does that sort of halt proceedings? Yeah, it's been, to be fair, it's, it's been a strange run because we played um, South Park last Tuesday, uh, we all know that we've won a great game. Thursday we kind of had to rest the boys, we had so many, like the walking wounded for Saturday, then Saturday morning gets called off, I mean the game Saturday gets called off Saturday morning, so it was really difficult to do anything, so we haven't done anything for a week. So again, you could, I think you can kind of see that tonight as well. Some of the boys are a bit leggy, but you know, they've, they've shown good character, defended well, loads of um, long throws going into the box. Didn't really like conceding, but again, you've got to stay so concentrated in those moments, and I think the boys did. So a, a new facing goal for Leatherhead, uh, with Marco coming in with, with Mikey picking up uh, an injury last week. Um, how good was it to see another young face sort of in, in the goal and, and doing really well? Yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Fulham and Vic Bertinelli especially for getting it done for us because we've got a decent relationship with Fulham, obviously we had Mikey and we found out last week that Mikey's wrist is playing up again, so Mikey's got a scan I think this Thursday, so we'll know the extent of that after Thursday, but then Mick's kind of recommended Marco. Young lad, local lad as well, he used to get woke and then got a deal at Fulham. So he's played there for a youth cup team against Liverpool. Um, great lad, you know, done well. I thought he fitted in well in the dressing room as well. So, yeah, credit to him to Fulham. How important is that? You mentioned there about Marco that his background is he's come from sort of the, the non leagues, mm. he's, he's come from woke and he's done work so hard to get himself a deal. Mm. He's then had the the massive opportunity of being able to play in these youth cup fixtures yeah. at, at Anfield and, and other big stadiums. How, how nice is it for him to sort of, not back to where he came from, but all an almost familiar surroundings? I think for for any young any young player, especially, and you know, with Fulham there, like Vic especially, he's very good at that way. You know, he sends the boys out to play men's football. He gets them used to men's football, so, you know, yeah. And it, it helps that he's been at Woke and it helps that he's been around non-league as well. So, but yeah, I thought, I thought he's a credit to himself tonight. I thought he'd done really well. So Omar got himself the, the goal this evening after a Javan header that sort of clipped the crossbar and, and sort of came down to the feet there. It was, wasn't our prettiest goal of the season, that's for sure, um, mm. but it, it crossed the line and, and they all count the same. Um, how important is it that even in them games where we're not playing our best and you know it may not be as expansive as, as the fans and sometimes us would like, that we can still sort of grind out these little goals and little results? Yeah, I think it's a testament to the team, testament to the boys. You know, we scored a scrappy goal in. You know, we, listen, we all know what kind of football we play. We know what football we, we strive to play, and tonight wasn't that night. But the truth of it is, like, it's about winning now. You know what I mean? And we've got the three points. And in, in, a, in a weird sort of way, I think that like, in the first half against South Park last week, we played a bit better, better football. But listen, we've won the game, that's what it's about. Green ticks, green ticks, green ticks is what we, we always mention sometimes about. So, how, how does this set us up to getting another green tick on Saturday when we're at home to Marla? Yeah, I think Marlow would be, it'd kind of be a different game. They'll come at us as well. You know, they've, they, they, they're they a good side, doing really well. Um, so, yeah, listen, at the end of the day, man, I think we just got to take every game as it comes. Um, a lot of teams are doing well in and around us, but we just got to focus on ourselves and do our job. Junior, thank you very much for your time. Leverhead fans, it's another big one down here on Saturday at Fetch and Grove. We face Marlow as a three o'clock kickoff. Come down and support the boys for a massive three points. Junior, thank you very much. Cheers, cheers, guys.